Hello, in this video I will demonstrate you BX100 Bluetooth module and uh, I will show you its unique functionalities. Uh, for demonstration I set up the embed where I am using two UARTs, one through USB and the other to communicate with this module. This uh, yellow cable is needed to control the Bluetooth mode from AT command to the data transparent mode if you are in the master mode or if you are in the slave mode it used for publishing the SPP profile and if you are con uh, if remote device was discovered and the module still want to disconnect so you need uh, you can send this connection um, by default you can use two baud rates 9600 or uh, 150k um, if you use in master mode you can set up uh, uh, by it commands other baud rates and after reset you can use that baud rates so this uh, pin uh, control will not affect until if you will uh, reset whole settings to default so then this switch will be come to um, uh, will be operate so uh, whatever you have will set up it it will be used so let me start the demo so I connect the hardware and um, on the terminal I press the connect I will press on the embed reset so as you can see the first command is come from the Bluetooth uh, from embed and the other three from Bluetooth model if I send AT it reply me that just ok if I want to see in which state is the model I need to send AT plus GPS and it's a uh, ready I can send uh, at the moment L and R to read local name uh, of the device and it says that local Bluetooth name is BX100 if I send R and R it say attention Bluetooth is not connected to any device so this moment at the moment cannot be executed so we need first to connect to remote device so in order to connect to remote device we need to make first inquiry if I send with the small uh, lowercase 80 commands looks lo look what happened error so all the AT commands must be in capital so I will send in capital as you can see it found one remote device this remote device is my laptop at the moment so the inquiry by default is running one minute and I don't want to wait one minute so I will uh, send AT plus SIM so this command we will stop inquiry so it's a okay inquiry complete um, now I will send connection to that uh, remote device Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, comma, one. the one is um, based on this number so if in inquiry I have detected for example seven remote device uh, and I, I, I can use that number seven here so I will be connected to the last uh, uh, detected remote device so I'm sending the inquiry if you see attention connection to Bluetooth device failed it failed that because uh, I have previously tested this device and um, it still has the link link keys uh, restored 
I need to clean that uh, list with AT plus DAA, delete all authenticated device. So I send that command, it say OK. And now I can resend the AT plus com. As you can see it asks for the PIN number. Uh, I left it to default. You can change it with simple 80 plus PIN equal number. So at the moment it's 4 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. I press OK. And it say I'm connected to COM port 8. So in the hyper terminal uh, I will connect now. And if I send for example AT plus con again for connection as you can see is come here this means that the communication now is transparent I cannot control the device with 80 commands because I'm in the data mode so in order to switch back to the uh, AT mode I need to use these two buttons so I will press this black button Uh, let me send some 80 commands just to ask in which state I am 80 plus DBS and it say connected 80 and if I come here you see this command which I'm saying 80 plus DBS it didn't come but if the remote device will send me data like for example I'll press 7 7 7 7 7 7 7, seven. Yep. you see it's coming here but my commands cannot be delivered because I'm in, in AT mode. So if I send AT, uh, AT plus GBS, it say connected AT. Um, now I can use, for example, RNR command to read a uh, remote name. And it say remote Bluetooth name is electronic 79. I can use uh, RSSI, RSSI, and it says that is FFEE. I resend it is FFEC, and etc. If I want to disconnect, I need to send AT this. Oops, AT this. But um, I want to show you again how I can switch back to the transparent mode. So for this I need to press the red button. And um, if I send now 80 plus this, you see it's not res uh, responded to me here because the communication is transparent. And this command is come here to the remote device and the remote device can send me also back some information as, as you can see is here so in order to me to disconnect I need to switch back to the AT uh, command so I need to press black button so I'm coming here and send before this just the mode AT plus GBS see is connected AT so now I can send the AT plus this and carry it to that's it so you see the device is disconnected and it say okay Bluetooth device disconnected that's it this is the presentation in master mode for the slave mode is much more easier you just need to um, set up one of the input to lower a ground state and um, these two button will be will work for uh, if you press the black one it will publish so the remote device can discover it and if it was connected you can disconnect with other buttons so it's very simple and the communication is completely transparent because uh, you cannot uh, use it any AT commands in uh, slave mode uh, I will attach uh, the schematic of course where you can see how I connect to embed and uh, of course you can find uh, uh, the source code for embed I will also uh, 
attach it. The two commands at the moment supported is this. And um, so, thank you for watching. And uh, as you see, this uh, unique functionalities at the moment uh, are not available in any other Bluetooth models. So, thank you very much. Bye.